Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyIT's tutorial on how to add uh, Facebook to your uh, jailbroken uh, iPhone 3G. Um, okay guys, so I've had a few people ask me how they actually do this um, with the iPhone. How can they add uh, Facebook app to their old iPhone? Um, so what you need to do is open up a web browser, go to our website, it's all on, our, all on my website there. Uh, if we type in 123myit.com Alright, and it's actually there's a tutorial on how, how to add it in here which will give you a step by step guide, um, but we'll do that as we go along. So basically what we do is um, we have to open up Cydia here, let me just make sure you guys can see that. There we go, okay. So, okay, we have to open up Cydia. So this is a, a 3G iPhone that's uh, already already um, jailbroke. I've already run jailbreak on it, and it's got the Cydia icon there. So I'm going to run that Cydia icon. You'll have to bear with me a bit because this uh, iPhone is pretty old so it runs extremely slow thanks to the Apple updates. It might actually take a little while to log on to the city here there. Okay, there it is. Alright guys, so um, once you get to this stage, the next really important part is you ne actually need a thing called um, App Sync on there, and what App Sync does is it actually synchronizes the Facebook app to your Facebook account. Okay, so to do that, we'll have to go into Manage, just down the bottom there. All right, go into Sources. All right, and we want to click on Edit at the top here. We want to click on Add. And then we want to type in C Y D I A dot iPhone cake dot com and then go add source. What it will do, it will actually add in uh, that iPhoneCake.com website. Let's wait until this is done. So it's just adding all the data in, in the background there. Verifying. Okay, it says. Okay, it says it's illegal, but you want to add it anyway. Right, you'll see it will go through. It will add it all in. Now, guys, I, I've already done this to test it before I actually did it, and I know it works. Um, but this is kind of just going over the same steps again. So we're re-adding this package or this source. If you don't have this part, you can actually add in the Facebook app, but it um, won't actually connect and sync your data to the Facebook servers. So this is the, the important part that the majority of people miss out on. Alright, let me just 
just hit that return to Cydia down the bottom there. Right, bang, and then what you should have then is a little menu here which says iPhone cake. We want to select that one. All right, and we need App Sync for the version of OS that you're running. All right, so if we go back into our settings here. go into phone sorry if we go into general and then about all right and then we'll see the uh, version of iOS that we had. so ours is 4.2.1 okay so if we go back to our city here, iPhone cake repo, we go. We select App Sync for OS 4.2. It's already ticked there, but you would click on that and you would and you would add it in. All right, because mine's already installed, it's actually just got the modify button there. Okay, so you would add that. Okay, so once that's done, all right. Once that's done and you've put your uh, app sync on for the version of uh, iOS that you're using. You need to go back to our web page there. Go to where it says downloads. So all the all the downloads and that I have under under this downloads menu to to make it easy access for people and so the versions aren't all different. Go down and click on where it says iTools 2012. And we'll just save a copy of that to the desktop. All right. Open it up, extract it. All right, and then we go into the iTools folder once you extract it and run the iTools. Run the iTools.exe file. Okay. As you can see, it looks like it's just been updated, so we'll hit update now. Quickly update this eye tools, can't hurt. Close it. Alright, now I've already got my iPhone plugged in here, so and as you can see, it's already picked it up, so it's iPhone 3G. We want to go into our applications part here. Go back to the downloads version, and we've got the Facebook app here to suit the iPhone 3G. Let's click on that one, we'll download that as well. Just put it on your desktop. All right, we're going to open it. All right, and then we go extract all files, and then extract again. Okay, so then we've got the i the face the Facebook app. We want to open up iTools. Drag the Facebook app into, actually before you do that, in iTools, make sure you click on Applications. Then we want to drag the Facebook app into Applications. And as you can see, it's installing the, the Facebook app there. See the Facebook app has just appeared. Click on that. All right, bang, and then you can log in and start doing your start doing your business. All right, so that's how easy it is, guys. Um, if you wanted to uninstall that, okay, you can just go back here into the iTools 
click uninstall and then it will remove it from your phone see how easy is that alright guys um, I hope that was a helpful tutorial if, uh, if that helps you out uh, please leave a thumbs up and uh, some feedback if you need any help with anything alright thanks for watching guys bye bye